Hi guys, and oh, welcome to another video. Today's video we are doing another look using the ColourPop Matte About Hue Palette and just some random products. This is, when I do videos like this, just to explain myself, when I do videos like this, it's just to use products that I already have in my stash. I try my best not to become a review channel where I'm just purchasing new items, reviewing them, and you all never see them again. So this is a way to show you that yes I still use these products if I tell y'all I like them more than likely I'm using them every day every other day I'm using the products that I tell you all I like so yeah if you want to see how I got this look all the products I use and all of that make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, starting off, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Super Base and base my lids with that. For the last couple of videos, I have been using, you know, trying to use some of the same products. That way, I could feel like I'm using the products up. I'm trying to use as much products as I can because I am known for just getting products, letting them sit there and just not giving a second thought about the product so yeah I actually really love this face though it's thick but it's not like really thick to the point where uh, it makes my eyeshadow clump up or anything so today I'm using the ColourPop matte about hue palette and as you can see I'm taking that very deep the deepest green shade you know all of these shades are matte I'm taking the very deep shading putting that in my outer V I love a good dark outer V one day I'm gonna try a look that I don't use a very dark shade but up until then <laughs> we'll be using a dark shade so yeah so I'm taking that and putting that directly in my V all of these brushes are either from Amazon or shop miss a y'all know the drill so I'm using the dark shade and um placing that I pat it on first and then I swipe and kind of blend it out because I knew that I was only going to use I was only trying to use two to three shades so yeah and um, the for my transition I took a brown shade the lightest brown that was in the palette this brown was actually in the column where the orange shade was so I guess they consider this to be an orange not so much a brown as you can see no it's in the in the where the the column where the yellow shades are so I'm using that brown shade to put in my transition area to kind of make sure everything is blended as it should be. Just so that, you know, the green shade wasn't like all over my eyelid going everywhere. I feel like if I use a transition color, that can kind of even everything out for me. So I'm using a wet and wild blending brush, you know, my favorite type of brush. <laughs> And then I'm taking the lime green shade, not the brightest one, but the second to brightest one. These are, doesn't have names on it, guys, so that's why I'm trying to give y'all a description of it. And then I basically just pack that on on the inner part of my eye. For this one, it required a little more packing than I normally do, but it was still perfect. It was still okay. I think the brush that I decided to use was too dense I should have used a fluffy brush and that would have picked up more product so this step right here is just me taking more of the green dark green taking more of the lighter green going back and forth between the two to make sure I get a perfect mix and I always take my brush and go between the two shades so I don't create a harsh line there. So, and that's me with the brown shade. It's just a combination of picking up color, going back, picking up another color, going back. I don't think I've ever um, done a look where I don't have to blend like this. Like you have to blend, that's just a part of eyeshadow. I try to escape it, try to make myself not to do it, but it's one of those steps that you're just gonna have to do. So that's me packing on the green shade until I can get the color on the build up that I want, that I prefer, and I wanted it to be, and it really turned out lime green. You know how hard it is for lime green to show up on my darker skin tone? And I love this palette. 
palette. I love everything about this palette. Now I want them to create a matte warm tone palette. So here I am taking my Clinique Even Better Foundation in 116 Spice. And that's what I'm using today for foundation. This, this is in my top five. Hands down, no question asked. This is in my top five foundation. The shade matches me to a T. The wear is phenomenal. The look is phenomenal. I love everything about this foundation. Absolutely. Clinique did something with this. If they have a sale for Black Friday and you've never um, tried this foundation, I suggest you try it, especially if you're Ollie Combo like myself. Give it a try. I promise you won't be disappointed. So now I'm taking the even the Clinique Even Better Concealer in the shade 100. It's golden. Yeah, 100 golden. So I'm taking that and that's what I'm going to use today to highlight with. I was actually getting ready to go to work and like, why would you do all this to go to work? But this is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. This makes my day. This gets me through the day. And I decided to take this ColourPop Soleil Bronzer. I'll leave it in the description box. I just was cleaning up and saw it. I usually do it to tint my wigs with. I usually use it to tint my wigs with. But I'm like, okay, well, let me try it again. Because maybe I tried it the first time and I was thinking I needed something darker. No, I still need something darker. Because this did not show up on my skin tone at all. So I had to go in with my Thread Beauty and put some more to give me some definition. I'm going to look on ColourPop's website and see if they have a darker shade. Because nothing is wrong with the consistency and the wear of the bronzer. It's just that... It's not deep enough for me. I'm already deep. I'm dark. I'm deep and dark. And I need something just a little bit darker. You know? So I spray with my Bare With Me spray. And then I'm getting ready to blend the concealer and everything out with my Car Beauty sponge. My all-time favorite sponge. I'll never give up on these sponges. Black Friday, that is my mission. That's the first thing I'm going to order. I'm going to order another case of sponges from Car Beauty. I think they run like... 30 or 40 dollars or something like that but yeah i'll be ordering that so it blends oh man it's so soft and so nice i just love it and then i'll take my brush and i'll just get in between the foundation the concealer the contour so i don't have any harsh lines and here i am taking that essence brighten up powder again <laughs> The last couple of videos, I know y'all have seen this like crazy, but yeah, that's what I'm using. I just love it. I didn't even realize how much I love it until I tried it. And once I tried it, I can't put it down. This is better than, ugh, I hate to say it, but this is, this is better than any powder that I have on my desk at the moment. Then I took my Juvia's Place Bronze Duo Palette in the dark. And I mix the two shades together just to give me a slight contour, a slight mixture of shades. Give me some definition back to my face. This is one of my favorite steps is to contour blush. I'm using volume four and I'm taking the orange shade. Orange on brown skin is beautiful blush, beautiful blush. It just adds something to your face that makes it just pop. Y'all see that? That extra just pop. I love it love it love it love it and next up i don't know um oh i use the dior powder i use my dior backstage powder to set the remainder of my face and somehow or another y'all my lip combo got deleted but i use mac chestnut my about face matte liquid lipstick and I want to say the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. I'm going to show it to you all, but I know I didn't add the clip in here because somehow I know that I wasn't recording. So let me see if I could tell what I have in my hand. Uh, spraying my face. That's when I realized I wasn't recording the lip part. And now I got to dig so I can show you guys what I use. I know it was MAC Lip Liner and Chestnut, the About Face Lip Paint. And now I got to see what gloss it was. Oh, it was the Sephora Gloss in 01. They don't carry this anymore. I looked on the website and tried. Okay guys, we are back. We were able to complete another look using the Matte About Hue Palette. Using Two greens, one brown. Y'all know I'm a lover of green. Also, I will say this. I've said it once. I'll say it again. This palette is excellent, especially if you like matte eyeshadows. You all know I love my browns and my golds and my warm colors. This is more 
of a you know a bright palette which I still have been using and am still in love with I, I hope and I wish that they come out with one with just like warm brown shades but make it like all matte I'll pick that up for sure and I just use random products some products I haven't used in a long time some products I haven't used at all just to leave in the full face because I know some of my subscribers like to see me do my whole face and that's about it I need to get to work yes I wear looks like this to work <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you later bye guys